It's looking a little scruffy, guys. I think I gotta do something about that. I think I gotta fix that. <laughs> like, clean it up or something. What's up, what's up, everybody? We're gonna do a video. We're gonna do a spotlight on Xiong Fei in Necropolis. Uh, so we can see, well, we, well, we'll go to my runes after. We'll go to my runes after. If you guys just want to uh, see Xiong Fei in action, be like, no, Jibeg, we, we saw the other video. We already know about your runes. So we'll, let's get it started fast. All right. So I'm actually, I know some of you guys are like, oh, I don't want to do, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to work on him, I don't want to fuse him, I don't think he's worth it. If you're not doing Necropolis and you're not doing raids, then he might not be worth it for you. But I have been doing Necropolis, I tried him in two different teams. Uh, I've been, but I've been using him in Necropolis today since I just uh, six-starred. Of course, we just got the fusion the day that I'm recording this. Um... So, of course, I'm going to try him out in Necropolis. But I've been doing him... I did him in two different teams. I was using Hua, but... The, the, my Sarah is actually better... She works better than my Hua for Necropolis. So, go figure. And then we have... We have a somewhat easy-to-obtain team. Ryan was a Hall of Hero. <clears throat> Sorry. Was a Hall... <coughs> Why am I choking out of nowhere? Oh, my God. Ryan was a Hall of Heroes monster, so if you guys farmed at least one from the Hall of Heroes, then good job. Uh, you could use different stuff in place of Ryan, but I find Ryan... I like him in here so much. He's so beautiful. Um, nice. All those counters. Oh, gotta love it. Uh, so, yeah, so I have that. And then we have this. She's available from the guild shop. The Sarah. You guys can't even see my mouse cursor, can you? Okay. Well, you guys can't see. I'll just point to the... the, the the, yeah, that part of the screen. Um, no, but the Sarah the Water Cowgirl is available from Guild Shop. Mine is not skilled up at all. She's not maxed. She gets better when she's maxed, but I'm not going to spend that much guild points on just more cowgirls to feed her to max up her skills. I feel like that's a massive waste when I don't even have all the Ifrits yet. Thanks, Comptuous. It's been a year. All I get is to Sarah out over and over and over again. Thank you. Thank you for that, Comptuous. But uh, we have those, we have Rauk, which is a scenario drop, and we have Colleen, which is a natural two-star. Nice, Desert Queen! Oh my god. Fire Desert Queen. Cool beans. But I find that this guy, uh, Xiang Fei, is really cool. We have three defense breakers now. We have Rauk, we have uh, Ryan, the water Neostone fighter, and we have Xiang Fei. Um... Which is good. It's good because we have the leader skill of the uh, increases the defense. And I wanted to use his leader skill too. Oh, look at all those DVD buffs. Yeah, but I wanted to use his leader skill too. Because then we get to see his leader skill in action. Really nice. Really nice. Uh, since we, we're the ones that have the debuffs. The only one on the opponent's team that has the debuffs is... Well, now now we're just going to get wrecked. But uh, this, this is actually what was, uh, what was failing my runs before when I was trying it with Hua. Is Ryan would just um, would just violent proc and then kill Hua. And then it would be annoying. It would The run would not work very well after that. And we would still win most of the time, but... But yeah, if Ryan keeps Violent Procking and Defense Breaking and Violent Procking on top of the Defense Break on, on Hua, then we do fail that. So Sarah is actually working much better. I have failed this with this team a total of zero times. So oh, we got speed and HP. All right. We'll get, I don't know if I want to get this, but we'll get it for now and I'll decide later. Let's look at the runes. Uh, if you guys are interested, we have no skill ups here. She's HP, HP, accurate, HP defense accuracy, sorry. She's just random. I I want the accuracy on her. I copied this build from my guildmate Fortune, and she seems to be working well. Uh, we have Ryan here. Ryan's got a couple skill ups. No, he, he does not. Trevor's got a couple skill ups. That's the one. Ryan has no skill ups. Um, let's see his runes. We have attack, crit rate, HP. More of a hybrid build, uh, just to give him enough HP to survive. But I haven't tried him as all attack. I feel maybe that might be dangerous, though, because he's probably going to just nuke Rauk down, and I'll have less successful runs. But this, I have not failed a single time doing this with this with this new team, which is crazy. I was like, I got to fail once or twice, right? With Hua, I, was, I, I failed a little bit, 
But as soon as I stuck, uh, as soon as I stuck, what's her face, Sarah, in here, uh, instead of Hua, I, it's been a hundred percent successful. It's every run RNG is gonna screw you, and you're gonna fail once or twice. But I have, but it hasn't happened yet. So I was pretty shocked about that. So here's the stats on here for Ryan. Who else do we have? We have Rauk, attack, crit rate, attack. Uh, well, here's the here's the stats on Rauk. They have 100% crit rate. Uh, Ryan needs 100% crit rate. Here's the here's the other stats on Rauk. Ryan needs 100% crit rate because he's got this. Uh, weakens defense if it lands a critical hit. And then we do continuous damage here. Oh, no, if it... Uh, we disturb HP recovery if it lands a critical hit there. So... Uh, and then who else? We have Colleen, which is very important. She's fully skilled up. There's really no reason to not have a skilled up Colleen. It's two star monsters that you need to use for fusion. Like to fu to did I say fuse her up? Skill her up. Oh my god, guys. Uh, so we have uh, speed, HP, HP here. Um, she's got a lot of speed. These monsters don't need this much speed in Necropolis. They just happen to have that speed. It's more important the turn order that they're in. It's not necessarily important how much speed they have because the speed is capped in Necropolis. So you just want to make sure that the turn order is correct. This monster goes first, then this monster, then this monster, then this monster, then this monster. And sometimes if you're having unsuccessful Necropolis runs, it could just be that one monster needs to move before the other one, and then you're going to get a more successful run. So that's a, that's a little tip. I don't know if everyone knows that, but we don't need this much speed on these monsters. We just need the turn order to be good. Uh, and then we have fully skilled up, if you guys saw the other video. Not fu not fully skilled up, sorry. I made the mistake of saying that this was fully skilled up. Uh, no, it's not. I don't know why I said it. that was anyway. Obviously not. Uh, so he's he's needs three more skill ups. Maybe I was thinking that I'm going to skill him up, and I said fully skilled up. But no, he's not fully skilled up. Uh, and then we have... What else do we have? Oh, that was the last monster, right? We saw the two water ones, we saw Rauk, we saw Zhang Fei. He's got crazy, he's got 2,000 uh, defense now. Not bad. Not bad. We're gonna have to test him out in the uh, in raids next. But yeah, sh this girl's uh, super easy to skill up. There's no skill ups on Sarah or Ryan right here. And right here, Rock is fully skilled up because he's easy to get skilled up. I like him on 100% crit rate just so the runs are more reliable. Uh, I had him on 100% crit rate before, but these runs are, I have not failed a single one. And I'm pretty happy about, they're not like a minute runs, but it's really hard to get a minute run in Necropolis anyway. Like, it's really hard to get a minute run. Dragons, it's reasonable. Giants, it's uh... You know, you can you can do it the easiest in Giants, but Necropolis, it's it's hard. It's hard to get a minute run in Necropolis. Uh, as you can see, I haven't even gotten down to a minute yet. But uh, but yeah, you have to have some crazy stuff, some crazy stuff, and some crazy runes on them to get it done. But I th I like the uh, I like the crit rate for Rauk. I n we need kind of the crit rate for Ryan, but I like the crit rate for Rock just to make him just more reliable. But this guy has been making it so, so, so reliable. So, so, so reliable, it does not fail. Well, I mean, it, I'm sure it does, but it has not failed yet today. And I was impressed that it has not failed yet today. And I was like, why? How is that even possible that it didn't fail? So, yeah, that's... Fantastic, but I had to switch Hua out. I Hua he is not uh, this fire, um, the fire. What's in my face? The fire sky dancer. I didn't even put her into this team. Uh, the Hua was actually. I know my Hua's speed is horrible. I know. Trust me, I know. Um, but she was. Uh, she was. She was dying. As soon as I took Hua out and I put uh, Sarah in, the run was much more successful. So hopefully, that helps you guys in uh, in seeing if you want him for Necropolis. I re like. I'm I'm enjoying him in Necropolis. Like, yeah, yeah. I wanted more reliable runs because I don't want to waste energy. Damn you, energy. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. More to come. I will see you in the next one.